Natalie Interviews. 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 Hi, my name is Mayada Walsh and I love Natalie Interviews. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. So, Desperate Housewives, what's it like working on the show? Uh, it's wonderful. Um, I love working with such talented actors and actresses. I feel like it really forces me to bring my A-game. Uh, so it's a blast. I really love it. And can you tell us about your character on that show? Sure, I play Anna Solis. She's um, Gabby's niece. Um, She's kind of the rebellious, manipulative, uh, wild child, I guess you could say. And you sort of played a similar character on Cory in the House. You weren't really rebellious because it was Disney. I would say it was a completely opposite character because she was like the nice, sweet one, always trying to, you know, make things work. But, uh, but so it's kind of fun to do something totally different. Uh, what was it like doing the accent on that show? Because it was fun. Sometimes it was difficult because sometimes they'd be like, "All right, you're doing too much of an accent, or you're not doing enough." So it was hard to find a, find that balance. But it was cool. And do you have any social networks where your fans could reach you or talk? To yes, you? I have a Facebook and a MySpace. I'm on Twitter. For Twitter, it's official Mayada Walsh. Um, no, official Mayada. And then my MySpace is um, MySpace. Dot com or wait, hold on. How does that work? Uh, MySpace.com slash MySpace.com slash underscore Mayada underscore Walsh dot com. And you can find my my uh, Facebook one on that one too. Spoke to you was that the yesterday was the live premiere, and you were telling us about this movie, and now we're here. What does it feel like to finally be here? It's uh, it's incredible. It's incredible. The movie is going up. It looks good. Um, sounds good. The people are here. The press is here. It's a it's an amazing night. And it's actually a stage to theater movie. What was it? What were some of the challenges you guys faced making this film? Well, uh, you know, the biggest challenge of any film is money, and so uh, we were able to get everybody to come together and decide that this was a project that they wanted to make. And so everybody kind of, you know, pitched in. It's not all on me. There's all kinds of people that have donated and you know help build sets and you know just all kinds of things so um, but it does show that whenever we decide to work together anything is possible I was actually watching a clip on YouTube and you, you're pretty scary in the film you're yelling and you pull out a gun yes you don't you, you look really nice in person but I mean I don't know well um, <laughs> that's part of being an actor and, and I think what it is is that everyone has within them every potential within the human spectrum and so being brave enough to let people see that is what acting is about. So, so can you tell us about the new season of Leave it to Llamas? Um, um, well, they're kind of keeping a tight lip on it right now. Uh, they want to go a couple different ways. I'm not really sure where I'm going with it just yet. Um, I just got a series. And uh, so I'm, I'm kind of figuring out if I really want to go too much into the reality world. You know, some of my family has. I don't know if that's really, uh, you know, where I want to go. So we'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, me and this guy, we, you know, I'm here with him, you know, and uh, that's really, that's really why I did the show, you know, to try to reconnect and rebuild that. And we've done that, you know. So uh, I don't need uh, any more reality TV to help me out with my, you know, life. You know, it was fun though. It was nuts. Actually, it wasn't fun. It was hell. It was crazy. It was the craziest three months of my life. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see. A lot of people dug it. A lot of people, you know. Yeah, I definitely I, tuned in to watch. I thought it was funny as hell. Like, see, it made me like my sisters more. Like, I hated them before, but then I watched the show. I'm like, kind of like them. All right. So you just said that you booked a series. Yeah. Could you give us some info? Um, on that? Uh, No, no. Um, I play a director. I'm just going to say that. Okay. I play a director. A crazy maniac director that I get to have a lot of fun with. So we'll see what happens. I, I never, ever talk too much about stuff, even if it's done, solidified, contract signed. Wait until it gets out there and see, you know, what they think. And we have one more question for you. We're online based. Okay, because I'm timing you. <laughs> Okay, I'll hurry up. 45 seconds right now. Twitter, are you on Twitter? I am not on Twitter. No. Do you have any social I have some uh, I have some some uh, some people that are tweeting uh -huh. for me. I guess vicariously through me. Uh -huh. I don't know if you call them, you know, I don't know what that would be. A, a Posers. 
uh, poser twit tweet po tweet poser po what up I, they're, I, I've been on there a couple times they're saying nice things and you know keep up the good work guys <laughs> Thanks for keeping me out there. It's a really cool event. I'm really excited to see the films and to promote all the stuff. And uh, the press has been really nice today, so I want to say thank you. And the new season just started, American Idol. Are you watching? I'm so excited for Pants on the Ground, guy. <laughs> Pants on the Ground. Pants on the Ground. He was awesome. He's my favorite. He's going to win the award at the end. Yes, and he Yes, he is. <laughs> Absolutely. So what was it like being on American Idol, you know, with Simon being, we didn't really talk about it last time. Everyone's asking me about Simon, about Paula, you know, I love them all, I love everyone at Idol. I understand them, I respect them, and I think that we all respect each other regardless of what happens. And you take all the positive from it, and you know, it's like such a big catapult, it's such a big deal that we're all so grateful that I've been part of that. And I think it makes it so much more special that I could have been on it while they were still there, both of them. So I'm, I'm just really honored. Are you going to make like a guest appearance this season? I'm hoping to come back, yes. So. 